Hey everybody, welcome to The Bottom Line. I'm Mike Nolan and tonight we're going to be covering two different apps. One that's included in with the iPad Pro. The app is called Files, much improved. More on that later. And another app called Shift Screen 4X. But before we get into my review, I would like to thank every single viewer for a brand new channel. We've gotten 11 subscribers so far, and that is one more than I thought I would get after maybe two months of just constantly putting out videos. So a big thank you. Our first primary goal was to get on the platform. Second goal was to get our first 10. We have 11, so we beat that and we beat it in record time. What we're trying to do now is we're going to try and do a drive to get our first 100 subscribers. So if you get any value out of this video, please consider hitting the subscribe button, hit the top bell notification, and that way you'll be notified of future videos coming up. Now, back to this first app we were talking about. Okay, so the first app we're going to be talking about is the Files app that comes with your iPad. And on the iPad Pro, the Files app has always been a bit limited. It's been greatly improved. It still needs improvements, and we'll discuss that as we uh, take a look at the app. Okay, so uh, join me as uh, we uh, take a look at it here on the iPad itself. I have my G Drive which if you saw my last video you know I uh, just got a, an extra one and uh, that is right here. The next one. I haven't uh, renamed these so they're just uh, named G Drive Mobile USB-C and uh, G Drive Mobile USB-C 1. So I'll rename those later. I've just got this thing all hooked up. These are the two uh, external uh, G drives. Uh, the one on my left is uh, one extra terabyte. The one on my right is an extra two terabytes and so therefore leaving me with three uh, terabytes of external storage because on my iPad I've got the basic uh, iPad Pro 12.9 inch 128 gig. So uh, that was the first peripheral I had to really consider to make this a pro setup. Now, uh, what about like just for files in your home office? Again, if you're using the iPad Pro as a uh, alternative to say laptop set up in your uh, home office or say uh, a PC or an iMac or any other type of computer, um, you've you can see that it has a lot of options. Okay, so what can I say about split screen? Split screen's just a little bit cowboy, if you ask me. Let's take a look at this. I get my app uh, launcher out. Oh, and look what I did. That's the wonder. I could have done this from the keyboard when I'm doing it, but I'm slightly off center here, and that was just easier. And we're gonna bring up shift screen here. Shift Screen is an app that can bring windows over windows. You can resize them, you can multitask, and a couple of these apps even have things that the iPad Pro doesn't have to offer. It has a more PC feel to, you, to it if you ask me. So what do we have on the screen here? All right, looks to me as I search with my trackpad, I have a uh, PDF file manager up here oh oh wait a minute i can whoop wait a minute what's ah so as i move ah what's behind here oh okay this is an app called linear oh, i can move that too just with my trackpad and oh it has a web browser oh, oh and what's hiding behind there oh my goodness you have to get a special app on the ipad pro and here it is. It's a simple thing to, you'd think that they would have had this on the iPad Pro a jillion years ago. A simple desktop calculator. Not get to the app switcher and then go to a calculator and then boom, use the app switcher and go back to where you needed those calculations. That, to me, that's barbaric. But uh, kudos to this app for it. So now you can see 
that uh, you can basically stack these windows so that you can easily multitask. Okay, so I've got this one here and uh, you know what, I'm going to resize this just a little bit so that we have a little uh, overlap room, but if I needed that, I could fill this entire screen with this one window, of course. So always remember that, that the resizing is uh, pretty much unlimited in that respect. And uh, oh, gee, I wonder if I should get one of those. So as you can see, shift screen with the ability to be able to uh, multitask, it has a browser, it has access to several different apps, one of which we didn't mention is uh, Notation. That's an app I'm already using with the uh, iPad Pro and I'll be reviewing that in the future as well. But uh, you can work with Notation in Shift Screen 4X. So that's my full review of both apps, the uh, much improved file apps on the iPad Pro already, uh, still needing some design improvements, like a lot of design improvements, uh, and shift screen 4X. Um, I'll tell you, if it was a matter of thumbs, files, I'll give you a thumbs and a thumbs. Uh, shift screen 4x I'll give you two Mikey likes it this is a great app and invaluable for my home office and perhaps your home office as well so that wraps up the video please if you got anything from the video give us a thumbs up and don't forget we're trying to get to our first hundred subscribers and we'd love you to be among those so hit that subscribe button hit that top bell there and you'll be notified for future videos we want to thank everybody for their support and we'll see you in the next video